What up everybody? I hope you're all well. Today we have a banger of a video different than usual. Today we are building a PC. So get ready to actually see me fail because this is the first time that I'm building a PC in a long long time. The last time that I did this must have been 2002-2003 I want to say and the market was completely different and I've been doing a lot of research to actually get these parts and I've also been doing a lot of research on how to put it all together. So wish me luck and see how I put together this productivity, animation machine, gaming machine, because my goal is to hopefully start streaming more, to hopefully start playing more games, and also to hopefully have an animation PC that actually lasts for years and years on end. So I'm gonna show you the parts individually, why I got them for myself, and then we're gonna start putting things together. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the tower. Okay, so this here is the Fractal Torrent. It's a case that looks incredibly nice. I like the look of it quite a lot. As you can see here, you know, it just looks different than usual and it turns out it has a really good airflow, which is what we want for to keep the computer cool. I don't like when computers are incredibly uh, noisy, the fans and all that stuff. Um, I've been uh, riding that Mac wave and I've been actually being a, um, an Apple boy for quite a while now because I like how streamlined, how well put together the computers are. So I'm kind of thinking that this case is very much in the same kind of vein, same kind of design that you know the Mac products are and it has a function in terms of being cool, being full of nice airflow, and it should actually be easy to put together for a newbie like me. So let's see how it goes. So you can see here that you have the top, you have a couple of thumbs to cruise that you, you take out from the side, and then you just remove this bit here, and this comes out. And now you have ample space to put the PSU cable management on one side, cables that actually need to go through here if you want to and much much more which is really cool so uh, we're gonna leave this on the side because we need to open the case properly the next thing we're gonna move, remove next is going to be this side panel here so this side panel just moves on like this really easy it has magnets it's made of glass and if we remove this and put it aside here Cool, so as you can see here on this side, we have two massive fans, the biggest fans you can get on a PC on, on the front, and then you have three smaller fans right here on, on the bottom. They are more medium-sized fans, and this is basically all you get with the case. You have some cable cables, cable ties, cable management. Something that I like a lot is that this case has like some cable ties here on the back to basically power the cable that comes out from the back from the PSU down to the side. But the good thing about it is that because the cable ties go all the way from the beginning, from the top to the bottom, it allows you to basically, any cables that you have here from your graphics card or anything like that, you can just still tie them here and basically have one neat cable coming out of the bottom or of the top, depending on where you are. Most likely I'll, pro I'll probably put mine coming this way to the top because I'm going to mount, I'm going to mount the, the tower to my table in the office so I can actually um, basically have the computer going up and down with the table. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Now on the other side we have another glass panel, which I'll move over here. On this side we have another glass panel that will also come out that also comes out so just as easy. It has a bit of cling or film that you have to remove. We're gonna leave that to the end because that's the most satisfying bit of them all. So the case is now open. Oh, also we have to actually move this front part of the case as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to remove this part. For this part in the front, we just should be able to snap it off like this. And then you can see here the beautiful massive fans that you have in the front for airflow. And then this part here has a filter that can be removed quite easily from the top. Uh, if you actually want to basically clean it in terms of like all the dust gathering and all that gunk that comes in. So I'm gonna put this on the floor as well. And now the case should be ready for the motherboard and all the other stuff that you're gonna add to it in just a second. 
But before we go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this part here. Keep it, keep them safe. Because I have to show you some of the other stuff that we have as well going on for us. So here we have the uh, ROG Strix and this one is the X70E, um, you know, AMD, we're gonna, we're gonna have an AMD build, I'll show you guys in a second, but um, actually I can show you guys now. So we have an AMD build, this is the AMD Ryzen 9, more specifically the 7950X, so um, is a 16 core, 30 two thread processor, 5.7 gigahertz max boost. Um, really nice processor. I think the only one that is above this one is the 3D Vcache, I think it's called. So I think this one is more than enough for what I have right now based on my research. I think this will do incredibly well for both animation and also gaming and all that stuff. So really nice. This is what we're doing, AMD build. Now, for the AMD build, we have also the motherboard, and we have a ROG Strix. This is the X670E, and um, you know, it has Wi-Fi 6E, which is something that I have at home, so I definitely needed that. Now, I'm gonna put the motherboard right here on top of this, and then basically show you guys how it looks from the top down. Um, Lots of good stuff, so this here being the, one of the most important ones, this is where our GPU is going to go. Uh, I'm gonna add two sticks of RAM right here, this is the AMD socket, and then I'm most likely going to add my SSD card under this guy here. And uh, I need to connect all the cables to this bit. This is gonna be the, the, bit, the place or the bit that is going to be more complex to me, because uh, I haven't really um, plugged anything like this for many, many years. So I am kind of like, I'm slightly nervous about it all. Fingers crossed it's going to work out. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. But um, everything seems to be labeled really well on the sides here. So even for somebody like myself, that is just getting started on this new venture, um, I think it should actually work out well. Cool, okay, so that's that. That's the motherboard, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm going to open the CPU in just a second, that is just, really basic. What else we got? We got also a, a two terabyte um, Gen 4 SSD NVMe uh, hard drive. We also have a, a set of uh, RGB uh, 64 gigabytes DDR5 RAM, um, which I'm excited to try. It has RGB lights as well. Um, heard great things about Corsair Dominator, so I got a couple of them. Uh, what else do you have? Oh, we have the, oh, also the, uh, the power supply unit here. It's actually from Be Quiet. It's a straight power 11, supposed to be 80 plus platinum. So I think it should be actually incredibly sturdy. It should not fail on me. And also it should be quiet. Once again, going back to that theme that I don't like loud fans and loud computers. So this should actually be really really good to make sure that the computer is as quiet as possible and a um, Corsair IQ Elite LCD XT that's the longest name ever <laughs> but the whole thing about this is that this is a liquid cooling um, fan CPU thingy it has a display to actually tell you what's the temperature of the CPU which is good for me because if I actually mess this build up I want to make sure that you know, the CPU is not running too hot. Um, looks really cool, uh, has great reviews once again, so I got it and uh, I'm looking forward to putting it together. Three fans, same size as the fans here at the bottom, but unlike the other ones, I like the ones here in the bottom, this one's RGB, oh, RGB. So what I might do is actually put this ones that light up on the bottom of the PC and then use this ones on the bottom of the PC to add to the, um, liquid cooling because obviously you're not going to see how they actually light up on this one. But you know, TBD, I'll, I'll find out as I'm building it. So yeah, it has some cables right here, um, it also has the um, RGB fan uh, controller right here and uh, got the cable to actually connect it, connect it all to the motherboard right here uh, and it has some mounting um, 
brackets and like all this other stuff to actually add to the, to the motherboard in order to make sure that it all works well. So it's all good. So what I'm gonna do first, before I start on any of this, as you can see, not very organized here, is work on the motherboard. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the pièce de résistance, the thing that actually I'm most proud of, <laughs> which is this. Um, a 490, uh, GeForce RTX 490, and this is the Founders Edition. And I got it for a very good price, I think. Um, and I know that these ones are well, slightly more rare to get, uh, they are difficult to get, and once you get them, you, like people that get them, supposedly these ones are the best of the bunch, um, because it's the ones that actually set the standard, the ones that are quieter, and also the uh, airflow is better, and they seem to actually perform the best. The box is actually pretty awesome as well, reminds me of the Xbox One, I think it was? the box, it came with something like this, but uh, yeah, really, really cool, looks absolutely amazing, it's absolutely massive, I keep hearing people saying how big these ones are, these latest generation GPUs are, but damn, these ones are huge, wow, it's very impressive, <laughs> cool, yeah, feels cold to the touch, it's amazing, so I'm going to leave that for the end, that's going to be really, really cool to install. And for now, we're going to actually work on this here motherboard. Let's do it. Okay. Ah, this is going to be um, nerve-wracking to say the least. I'm going to start installing it and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so CPU is installed. It went as planned. Now I'm installing the memory. I found something interesting already with this motherboard where they give you the thermal paste on both sides. I was expecting thermal paste on one side only, but it's really nice that uh, it's gonna be extra cool. And you saw that happening in real time. <laughs> okay, let's see. Put this fella here in. A bit of thermal paste getting in the way, unfortunately. So let's take that off. Put this guy in. Right there, ah, really nice. And this, this one's, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a little latch to hold on to the, to the SSD, which is really amazing. And uh, we are needing to remove this side, plastic side of the thermal paste as well. So we can go back and install it again. So now that, that actually should finish the install. There you go. All done. Okay, time to install the Corsair RAM, Corsair Dominator. So this will go... I actually need to organize this better. As you can tell, I'm not used to building this stuff. Just end up with lots and lots of boxes everywhere. <laughs> so, Corsair Dominator, really thick DDR RAM. Whew. It's metal as well, feels good. So I I'm, can imagine that the, um, the thermal efficiency of this is gonna be incredibly um, great uh, because it feels like it's going to stay cool for longer. Also it has RGB lights right here on the back. So we're gonna install it on the slot number two, number four, just to make sure that it's all good. Um, you don't see it because unfortunately my camera up here just died, but um, like there's no uh, little slots uh, to remove from this side. It's only one side only, which is cool. And uh, I guess you just kind of click it into place as soon as that's done. So that's, man, that sound is so satisfying. Ooh, nice. All right, so let's install the last one right here, the second one. So it goes, does it go this way? No, it goes the opposite way, okay. 
it's good. It's a good thing that they can only go one way, because otherwise I'll be very confused. Dang, that feels so good. Okay, so all black everything. So far, so good. Looking absolutely fantastic right now. And I'm gonna have to go ahead and read the instructions of the liquid coating um, because I'm gonna have to actually get the mount kind of like installed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm gonna remove this. Oh, so good. The uh, IO is looking pretty solid on this. So many connections, all super fast. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out great. <laughs> Cannot wait. Okay, see you in a bit. So it turns out it was not as difficult as I thought. So it turns out it comes with this pre-installed brackets on either side of the CPU. I had to remove them and then add a little, these spacers that then basically allow these two things here to go around the cooler and then it goes inside of the motherboard like that. But before we do all that, I believe now is the time to install the motherboard on the case itself. We have the uh, memory, we have the hard drive, we have the pre-installed brackets right here for the cooling, and I believe that's all we need for now. So let's do it. So I found my first problem. Um, I knew that this was not going to go super buttery smooth, but uh, I hope this is not gonna turn into a big issue. So we have two massive fans right here, and then we have three smaller fans or medium-sized fans on the bottom. Because I wanna install the liquid cooling, um, these fans here don't, are not compatible with the liquid cooling. Now, this, I cannot install it on the top because it has the CPU situation right here, which is fine. So I definitely need to install it here in the front. So I'm gonna have to take these two massive fans out install the liquid cooling here in front, right? And then basically transfer the two big fans here to the bottom, install this whole thing, and then most likely I'm gonna end up with about two spare fans that I can use. I can use one of them here at the back, um, and that's it. And most likely I'm gonna end up with two spare fans to use at a later point somewhere in another build, maybe. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, do all that, Get it all set up, the motherboard is to, a side, to the one side, and then I'll catch you guys as soon as that's done. The case comes with these adapters, right? Because these fans are so good, so massive. So these adapters should be for the fans that are medium sized that come with the cooling. So it should be absolutely fine. I've seen this done before on YouTube, so fingers crossed, wish me luck. I hope I can do it too. All right, whoo. That was way more work than I expected for that change. Phew, I had to look at the uh, at the tower manual. I had to look at the the water cooler manual, and there's an adapter and all these kind of things. So basically, had to take out two little things here, and also the fans that were massive here in the front. And basically, I mounted it at the bottom right here. So now we have two massive fans on the bottom, kind of like getting fresh air in. And then we also have um, the, the new three fan setup here in front with the water cooling block right here, or with the, with the fan, with the water cooler radiator, I should say, uh, right here on the back. And then uh, the case has enough space here to actually be cleared, but it was incredibly, an incredibly tight squeeze because there's a plate here that you can detach to actually mount these fans. And I had to wrestle, I had to wrestle here a little bit with the case to make sure that everything kind of fit perfectly. It fits like a puzzle, like there's no space for anything else. Um, and then basically the water cooler block is right here. They will basically attach to the CPU at a later point, but for now, we will leave it. Yeah, so that is basically what it is. Um, now I'm gonna install the mother motherboard now that I know that everything fits well, and then I will take it from there. That's gonna be a new challenge, and it's gonna be interesting to say the least, so um, wish me luck yet again. <laughs>
So we got our motherboard securely installed and that is not gonna go anywhere. And now I'm gonna have to connect all these cables from the back right here. All this mess that I just disconnected. So these, these ones here are the fans. This is the HD audio. And I'm gonna have to find ways to route this in a way that actually hides the mess the best I can. This is all new to me. 100% I'm gonna have to actually watch YouTube tutorials while I'm doing it to make sure that everything's correct. But the cable management is top notch on this case. So I am pretty sure that I'm gonna be able to make the cables disappear some way, somehow by the time I finish. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so <laughs> this is complicated to say the least. Um, I'm experienced, so it's taking a while. Had to look at the manual, had to look at YouTube videos, but now for the most part, fingers crossed, if all goes well, the cables should be connected, they're kind of neat. And I'm starting to enjoy the cable management side of things. As you can see by the back, <laughs> it's a mess. But um, it needs to be this way for a while longer because I need to know if it's working, I need to know if everything's plugged correctly. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, power supply, goodness, uh, like I'm gonna put it here. Use this power supply goodness here and uh, basically start putting it together with the cables um, included because um, the power supply has a whole lot of cables as well. Cables that are gonna go into the case, cables that are gonna go into the motherboard, and it's gonna be an interesting experience to say the least. So let's go ahead and check out our power supply. Let's see what we got. It's not too big, it's not too big. So fans, and connections, and I need to find out exactly what goes where. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. And the cables that I need to connect to the different things needed. The power cable that goes in the back, this one is European. So I hope they have, oh yeah, they have the UK connector, which is nice. Uh, and then more cables. I wonder if it's... It should be fine. <laughs> it will be fine. Okay, I need to connect all this stuff. I don't know exactly how it goes, but it's gonna go somewhere. More boxes on the floor. More boxes on the floor. Now this and this. We're gonna get to get to know each other for a little bit and uh, I'll get back to you guys in a bit once I sort it out and have it all neat and tidy. All right, so <laughs> you can see here that I have a whole bunch of cables and I had to basically decipher what each one meant. I think I have all that I need. So you can see here that I basically added the PSU to the case and I basically have a SATA connection for I don't have any, any SATA drives, but what I, what I need it for is for the, the case has a, a little connector to actually get the lights and connections going. And also the RGB lights also have one. Um, also, I need the um, graphics card powered as well. And that is, should be most of it. I only have a few cables. So for now, it should be enough. I'm just gonna set it here inside the case and uh, we will see if we need any more cables. We have all these other cables to actually use, so, you know, plenty of options. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and actually figure out exactly where each thing is gonna plug into the motherboard or plug on the back, and then hopefully I can actually move on to actually installing the, the cooling block here in on top of the CPU. I'm leaving that for the end just in case I have to move anything around. Also, it's easier to move around uh, and making sure that everything works well. Okay, so um, we have the cables from the power supply unit, kind of threaded through the case and then inside connected to the motherboard. We also installed all the little connections. I still need to actually do some cable management there. 
but everything is supposed to be connected. And what's next is this. We need to install this, uh, this uh, block, <laughs> forgot the name, um, that has all already pre-installed um, thermal paste and then put it on top and, you know, fingers crossed that will be it for the most part. I still need to connect a few more things, but this is a big, big moment, so let's do it. If you are an expert um, builder, please don't judge me. It's, uh, you know, I don't do this very often. <laughs> yeah, let me see if this actually works as is, if it fits. No, it doesn't. So we need to remove these because they don't fit. And install, instead, and I'm gonna install it this way, these. So we get this stuff, we're gonna have our block installed this way, it goes into the holes like so, and then I need to get some of this goodness inside here. All right, so, <laughs> whew. So, we have everything plugged in, everything inside, and I don't know if you, can, you guys can see well, but it's looking mighty sexy inside here. All black, really nice. Once we actually get the RGB going, most likely it's gonna be RGB just out the front, which is nice. This is gonna light up, and then we're gonna have some, some RGB here, and also, you know, the display, which is gonna keep it very minimal because I don't like too many lights. And um, also, yeah, everything is connected, including, I almost forgot to actually add this fan here on the bottom, but because we have now spare, three spare fans, I used one of those to actually go over here, and it's a mid-size fan, so it should actually kind of like bring out a lot of air from the case. Now, the only thing left to install is this guy here, the uh, 4090, right? And this is the big moment. Everybody looks forward to this and I am very much looking forward to this. Now I'm gonna plug, it, plug this in and then, you know, switch it on and see if it works. Now I would be lying if I were to say that I'm not scared. I hope the computer doesn't explode, but we shall see. Uh, I'll add this first and then we'll do that test, that power test together. So uh, yeah, <laughs> exciting times. Who would have thought that putting together a PC was not only so difficult, but also Nerve-wracking, so nerve-wracking. So let's do it. Okay, y'all, so the cables behind are a mess, but for the most part, this is how our build is looking. So as you can see, it looks incredibly clean inside. I mean, as clean as I could make it at the very least. There's some cables here that we might have to replace later for better looks. For the most part, there's not a lot of cabling going on in this area and then everything has been installed, everything is secured, everything is fine. Now we need to actually kind of like switch on the computer for the first time. <sighs> Fingers crossed this works flawlessly and there's no problems. <sighs> I need you guys to wish me luck here though. PSU is on and now we're gonna see what happens when we press the power button if all these connections happen. Ooh. Okay, so we got something going on here that maybe this is not connected well. The motherboard seems to be on. That's good. Shall we see what happens if you press the power button? Oh, we have light. I don't hear the fans going. Okay, so first try, not really successful. We need to actually see what's going on and have to um, troubleshoot some things, but uh, we have power. We just don't have activity here going on. So we need to find out what's going on. I'll be back as soon as I do that. Guys, that was way more difficult than I expected. And next time you're gonna see me, you're gonna see me in the office, like in front of the computer, 
with everything updated and hopefully I can give you guys a little bit of a flavor for how animation looks on this and also how it plays games. So let's do that. <laughs> 